Hello and welcome to O Worm. Today we'll be taking a look at the anatomy of a toad. Toads are amphibians, just like frogs. The word amphibian derives from the Greek amphibios, meaning living a double life. Toads and frogs live in both land and water, although there are a few differences between the two animals. Most frogs have long legs for jumping and smooth mucous skins, while toads generally have shorter legs for walking and rougher, thicker skins. However, both frogs and toads share many similarities that help them adapt to both land and water. So let's take a look at the external anatomy. First, let's get the toad oriented. So here is the dorsal side or the back and this is the ventral side or the belly. Here's the anterior side or the front and the posterior side or back. So first, let's take a look at the skin. In mammals like us, the skin mainly protects the body by shielding it from injury and keeping out germs. But in toads, the skin has a much more complex function. In toads, the skin also serves as a respiratory organ, absorbing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. They do supplement respiration with their lungs though. Toads also absorb water through their skin, so they never drink water. Now let's take a look at the anterior side. So first, the eyes and nostrils of a toad are on the top of its head, so that it can see and smell even while most of its body is underwater. Also, you can see the eyes of the toad are covered by this thin, transparent film which is called the nictitating membrane. This is also called the third eyelid and is drawn across the eye and functions kind of like swim goggles. So I'm holding the membrane right now and it's kind of drawn up halfway across the eye. Now, instead of ears, toads have these things called the tympanic membrane. It's this round area here which vibrates like an eardrum and allows the toad to hear both on land and underwater. Now if I open the toad's mouth, you can see its tongue right here. The tongue actually flips outwards, as you can see here, like this. And the toad catches its prey with the tongue and then pulls it back into the mouth like this. The toad also has maxillary teeth around the edges of its mouth right here to help catch the prey. You can see my probe catching on the maxillary teeth as I run it across the edge of the mouth. Toads actually have another set of teeth around here inside the mouth. You can see my probe catching on these as well. These are called the vomerine teeth and the vomerine teeth basically hold the prey in place while the toad swallows. And the toad actually swallows by sinking their eyeballs down to push the food into their throat. Now here, these two holes are called the internal nares, and they lead out into the nostrils externally. These little holes on the side which you can't really see because it's hard to open the mouth that much, but there are these little holes and they're called the eustachian tubes, and they lead out into the toad's tympanic membranes. The eustachian tubes equalize the air pressure inside the inner ear and the oral cavity. We have eustachian tubes too, and if you've ever heard your ears pop in an airplane, that's your eustachian tubes equalizing the air pressure. So on the posterior side of the toad, we have the cloaca here. The cloaca is the exit for the digestive and urogenital tracts. Also, we can't really tell if this toad is male or female right now, but we'll see when we open the abdominal cavity. 
So now let's take a look at the internal anatomy. So take a pair of scissors or a scalpel and carefully cut the skin off one of the legs. Make sure to angle the blade up so that you don't cut into the muscle underneath. So this toad has actually been triple injected, which means the arteries are injected with red latex, the veins are injected with yellow latex, and hepatic tissue is injected with blue latex. We'll see more of the injections later when we cut open the abdominal cavity. So here, even in the skin, you can see all of the red latex highlighting the arteries. There's also an artery that comes off of a muscle right here. So now you can see the leg muscles. While frogs leap and jump, toads actually prefer to walk or hop most places. That's why toad legs are a lot shorter than frog legs proportionally. Still, the leg muscles in toads are very important for locomotion. So you can see several different muscle groups here in the leg. So this is the flexor muscle for this joint, because when it contracts, meaning the muscle becomes shorter, the knee joint is going to flex like this. This would be the extensor muscle, because when this contracts, it will make the knee joint extend like this. Thanks for watching. Click here for part 2 of the toad dissection, where we look at the thoracic and abdominal cavities.